This video is about bucking. When horses buck, why do they buck and how can you deal with a bucking horse after knowing the reason behind his bucking? Just like we talked about in the past video about tearing up, the same goes for bucking. It's a natural move that horses do for so many different way, uh, reasons and when they do it with you in leading and of course in riding because usually horses buck in riding not in leading but sometimes they do it in leading like if you put a saddle for the first time or put, put a saddle pad on for the first time or desensitizing or whatever he might buck in leading but usually the real danger in bucking is when you ride the horse when you start riding the horse again two main reasons for bucking in my opinion the first reason a normal reaction for doing something for the first time first time saddling him first time putting the saddle pad on his back first time jumping on his back or riding him first time let's say desensitizing him with something on his back a big sack or whatever and if he cannot bolt he will buck so it's a normal reaction to something that you do on his back or around his back for the first time when he does that your reaction in the hands and in the body your body reactions and your hand reactions while he's bucking before bucking and after he bucked will decide what will happen if it was a wrong reaction or a bad reaction it will become a, ba a bad habit and the horse will use bucking against you with time even if he stops right now he will use it when he needs to use it like when he spooks or he's around other horses and uh, mares and when he's not in the mood to be ridden or stuff like that when he has so much energy and you give him a long break or rest and ride him you might buck if you give him a good uh, good or let's say correct right uh, correct right good hand reaction or body reaction when he bucks before bucking and after bucking the bad behavior or should i say it will not become a bad behavior with time he will stop doing it or at least he will not use it against you when he disagrees with you so he will buck as a reaction with time he will stop doing it or at least when he does it it's just a normal reaction he will not keep doing it as a bad behavior or a bad habit or a bad move so the second reason is a bad behavior that makes the horse buck when he disagrees with you and that bad behavior or move came from your bad wrong hand reaction or body reaction not from the horse so again don't fix the horse fix yourself don't uh, uh, blame the horse or what happened blame yourself when I say blame yourself your way of riding your uh, let's say style of riding not just your talent or gift or experience so again the martingale is not the real answer the equipments and tools are not the real answer the uh, whip, uh, whip or the stick using it makes no sense because the, what's happening is happening because of you not because of him it makes no sense to uh, get a whip and whip the horse for a mistake that he did because of you not because of him if someone needs to be whipped it's you not him so stop using the whip <coughs> especially in <coughs> bucking or bad behaviors <coughs> because usually the bad behavior or always the bad behaviors is uh, happening because of us not because of those so stop using the whip as uh, let's say a punishing tool if you use the whip to touch to touch some areas of in the horse's body that you can't touch with your hand that is something completely different just like the spurs if you use it in the correct way it's correct if you use it in a bad way it's bad but using it to punish the horse makes no sense because you should be punishing yourself you are the reason behind what happened now before while and after he bucks just like i said when i talked about tearing up the horse will do something towards a certain direction then he will buck to the opposite direction so before the buck he will give you the neck like that then he will buck like that or the opposite and while doing it he will do it forward or up or down the neck position will be down or forward or up so he will do that let's say he will move the neck right and up then he will pull down and left or the opposite he will give you left and down then he will buck right and up so he will do something then buck to the complete opposite direction what you should do as a reaction normally you cannot do it in the right way if you are a bad rider but it's just an idea uh, uh, that you keep doing and with time the horse will start to understand just like i talked about and ending up the reaction is more important than the action 
doing it as a reaction without thinking about it is always better than doing it after thinking about what you should do doing it intentionally is always bad compared to doing it as a reaction but as a bad writer you cannot do it as a reaction so at least do it as an action do it intentionally it's much better than using equipment and tools like martingales or whips or lunging the horse more than you should or all these things before bucking try to feel the direction he's giving you his neck or he's moving his neck towards and you have two options option number one when he gives you the neck move him towards that direction more so if he gives me the neck right for example if he does that I will turn the horse right while cantering or trotting I will actually pull the rein or collect the rein and make the horse move right instead of just keep moving forward when he gives me the neck I will move right because in that way you control the hindquarters and you prevented the horse from using the hindquarters against you the thigh or the backside against you because what he intended to do is give you the neck and do that so he moved the hindquarters to the opposite direction to the, of the direction that he wants to buck to or at so when he gives you the neck actually move your hand towards that direction like you are directing him to it the idea is to stop him from using the hindquarters against you he wants this thigh to be to the right side so that he will be able to buck the left side if you kept moving him to the right side not forward you will uh, keep the left side of his hindquarters or the left hindquarters the left thigh the left back side of his body left which means he can't buck the second option when he gives you the neck to the right side move him left immediately before he bucks you move him left so he intends to give you the neck to one side then buck to the complete opposite direction you have two options take the direction he gave you his neck at or to and move him to it to prevent him from bucking or when he does uh, that and give you the neck uh, position or they give you the direction he wants then he tries to buck before bucking pull him or collect the rein to the opposite direction the idea or the trick is to let the horse know just like we talked about in the ring up let the horse know that the trick he wants to do of course he doesn't think like you think but he just reacts in his body that's why you control his uh, balance not his brain not his muscles if you let the horse know that the hindquarters the thigh the backside uh, he's trying to use to buck is completely in your pocket when he wants the hindquarters to the right side you will be completely able to move it to the left side or keep it in the left side and the opposite with time he will stop bucking because horses buck for two reasons as i just said in the beginning the first one is a normal reaction and if you do that he will stop doing it the second one is a bad behavior and a bad behavior means he wants to get rid of you he wants you off his back and when you control the hindquarters by controlling the neck just like i said when we talked about heading up if you control the balance of the horse you will control the entire body of the horse if the horse knows that your balance is totally connected and attached to his balance your safety is connected to his safety if something happens to you it might actually happen to him in that way he will keep you on his back he will make sure that you will not fall down because he doesn't want to fall down he doesn't want to lose his balance and he knows that his balance is totally in your pocket is totally controlled by you is totally connected to your balance so i want to control the horse's balance before while and after bucking instead of controlling his mind like some ways of riding do or controlling his energy or muscles like many other ways of riding do before while and after bucking he will give you the neck to one direction then buck to the opposite direction your job is to take that direction and move him towards it or before he bucks change the neck direction to the opposite direction so instead of waiting for him to pull to the opposite side you actually pull the rein or collect the rein to the opposite side as i said before when you do that it doesn't work immediately sometimes he will keep bucking but with time he will understand the idea there is no muscle involved i'm not using strength i don't care about your mind or the way you think i care about your balance you want me to lose my balance for a reason 
my job is to let you know that one number one the reason for making the, the reason that made you want to make me lose my balance is gone second of all if my balance is gone your balance is gone if I lose my balance you might actually lose your balance so to be safe keep me safe to stay safe I must stay safe or you must make sure that I stay safe that's my opinion about bucking and all the other bad behaviors of course it's all about controlling the direction of the horse control the direction and you will totally control the horse mark my words you cannot control the direction of the horse real control totally control the direction of the horse if you cannot control the neck his entire body is totally connected to the neck real control Real control means if I move him right, he moves right. If I move him left, he moves left. Because a lot of people say I control the direction, but I wasn't able to control the speed, or the rear up, or the buck, or whatever. When I say control the direction, it means you can actually direct the horse to the position or the direction you want easily, and he doesn't say no. If I pull his neck right, and he gives me the neck to the right side, and he keeps bolting or bucking to, bucking to the left side, that means I did not control his direction, I just controlled the shape of his neck. He gave me the neck, but did not give me the direction. Real control means if I ask the horse to give me the right neck, or the neck to the right side, and this area right here, the outside neck, must come with it. So I want him to give me the right neck, or give me his neck to the right side, then move like that. So you controlled the right side of the neck and the left side inside shoulder the outside shoulder the inside neck the outside neck a lot of people say I controlled the neck or the direction but wasn't able to control what I want it's impossible if you really control the direction you control the horse what you think you controlled is just the shape of the neck for example if you are driving a car and you are totally able to move the car to the opposite direction it's moving towards you control the car it will stop but if I pull uh, the wheel or move the wheel, driving wheel, to the right side and the car keeps moving uh, forward or I move the driving wheel to the left side and the car keeps moving forward, I did not control the direction of the car. So of course I did not control the speed. But if I was able to make the car do this and move to the complete opposite direction, it will stop or at least it will slow down. And if you are able to stop the horse or make him slow down, that means you stopped him from bucking. bucking is uh, done for two reasons, reasons as I said before and inside the second reason which is a bad behavior he does it for two reasons to get rid of you to make you lose uh, your balance and sometimes he wants to bolt like he's not bucking to throw you off his back he's bucking because he wants to bolt and if you give him the rein he will bolt instead of bucking and in both cases it's completely wrong and it proves that he was trained and broken and started or trained in a uh, completely wrong bad way in my opinion that's why you see a lot of horses trained in a good way of riding or some good ways of riding look completely perfect the neck position uh, the rider's position on the horse his body position the horse's collection the horse is completely perfect when it comes for the appearance when the horse spooks or sees other horses or he's not in the mood or he has some uh, let's say uh, energy more than he should he completely bucks forward or up so he switches and changes from a perfect appearance to bucking or bolting why because they cared about the appearance instead of caring about the reason that made this certain appearance correct if you say that this certain neck position or this certain body position is correct there is a reason behind it if you did not achieve that reason achieving the appearance without the reason makes no sense it's just an appearance and sometimes it's actually a disadvantage not an advantage what I want is to achieve the lightness of the neck or the mouth when the neck or the mouth is light that is an achievement that will always work it's impossible for the horse to buck or keep bucking or bolting or reining up when the neck is completely soft and smooth it's impossible to make the horse lighter in the mouth or in the neck if your way of riding is not correct so it's something that you cannot achieve unless you are doing it in the right way so if you do it you're heading in the right direction but when it comes for the appearance you can do it in the right way, you can do it in the wrong way. So how you do it and why you do it is more important than just doing it. So control the direction before, while and after the buck instead of just using strength. Of course, why, uh, before the buck, it's very clear, I just said it. 
after and while the buck, it means while bucking and after the buck, look at the direction of the neck and move it to the opposite direction. Oh, yeah.